Hi everyone, in this video we're just going to quickly run through how to actually disavow backlinks. And so this is all done through Google Webmaster Tools. So if you've got any kind of a Gmail account, then you um, already have uh, access to Google Webmaster Tools. You would just need to search for Google Webmaster Tools in Google. And, um, and then you can log in with your current Gmail. Uh, if you already have Webmaster Tools set up for your site, then obviously it's, it's pretty easy. But if you don't, then you would need to actually go in and um, set that up for your site if you want to find your backlinks that are dodgy backlinks. But if you already know what links that you have that are dodgy backlinks, then, you know, then obviously that makes it a lot easier because if you already got your list. But what I will show you firstly is, um, so this is a Google Webmaster Tools site that has been um, created. So you basically would log in and it should have something over here to the right that says add site. Um, and if you've got Google Analytics set up, then you can, um, you can connect it via that. But look, if you need any help with that, then I'm sure there's plenty of videos <laughs> on YouTube how to do that. But um, what you want to do is go over to the left hand side where it says links to your site and then it shows you a list of all the links to your site you can click on more and it will bring up all the domains that are linking to your site and if you download this table you'll just get the domains but if you download the latest links then you'll actually get the, the full proper links that are linking to your site now, if you don't know which links are dodgy or not, then that again is a whole another video. But what you ideally want to do is just put the links in the disavow tool that are follow links. You can have follow and no follow links. If it's a no follow link, then in Google's eyes, it doesn't count anyway. So it's already technically been disavowed. So there's a program that I use called Linkity where I can add links in to find out whether they're um, follow or no follow. But look, if you don't know that, then, and, and you know that you've got a whole lot of dodgy links, then if we go back to the guidelines over here, uh, you've got two options as far as creating a disavow file. So you can either create a file that has all of the actual links themselves, or you can create a file that has like the, dem the domain name and then just the domain. So we saw in Webmaster Tools, this is just the domain here that links to the site. And, oh, back here, where were we? So that's just the domain and then that would be the full link. So if I then, um, so basically I want to create a text file and so far I haven't found out how to do that on a Mac so that it works. So it seems that the text files on the PC works. Um, so you might need to do it on a PC. But you either create a list like this that has the domain name and then all the domains, or you create a list that has the specific links, or you could create one that has a, a combination of both. But when you've created your file, you'll notice here in the example it's you've got information there that you could put in there. Google says that information is purely for you. They don't need this information. That's just so that you can know what you've done with the links if you want to put that information in there. But you don't need to. You can just have a file that is purely links or purely the, the domain names. So then what you want to do is actually go into Google search for disavow links and it will bring up like the disavow, or disavow tool and it will bring up the tool. When you click on that, it will take you to, to a screen that looks like this. And then what you need to do is find your particular site. So you can click on the drop down arrow and it'll bring up all of your sites that are in your Google Webmaster Tools. So when you find the site that you wanna disavow the links on, you then click on disavow links. It tells you it's an advanced feature because if you do use it incorrectly, then that then it could actually make your site worse rather than better. But it needs to be a text file that you are uploaded as. And um, so then you would go and choose the file that you've created. 
Now I'm doing this on my Mac, so it's not going to work. Um, well, I can't get it to work yet. <laughs> so you want to upload that file that you've created, then you click done, and then it will tell you um, what links have been, then you can press submit, and then it will tell you that so many domains and links have been disavowed from your site. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of how to disavow links. If you've got any questions, then please do um, ask me at the bottom of the video. If you are interested in SEO training for small business, I have an SEO training course that goes through exactly what I do with small business websites in order to get them uh, ranking in Google. Um, otherwise, this is a, a free YouTube channel that has other videos on SEO and WordPress. So I hope that's useful and um, like I said, if you've got any questions about disavowing links then just put them below the video.